We stopped by the Beaver Creek Chop House this morning, joining my friend and chef, David Sanchez. Ken, how are you today? I'm good, man. Good to see you. It's great to be here. How was your summer so far? We had a phenomenal summer. Really, really busy summer. Um, Just like you, as you can see, great weather all summer long. We've had some wonderful, wonderful, um, you know, opportunities to do some fun things with the food and menus with with this summer. So it's been a great summer. Yeah, it's such a great location as well. I wanted to come inside to kind of showcase the place. It is closed right now. It'll be opened up here in just a few hours, but it's such a popular venue for not only coming to eat, but also your bar atmosphere, you know, just to relax after a day on the mountain. The great part about Beaver Creek uh, and what's special about Beaver Creek Chop House is, like you said, the bar area. We also have the C bar, which is a little more casual bar space that we serve during the day up, up until about six o'clock in the evening. Uh, we, we do a lot of really great things over there, some specials, happy hour specials as well. And you are a staple for Beaver Creek and coming up one of Beaver Creek's most iconic events is Oktoberfest. What do you guys have planned yeah, for that? Yeah, we got, we're a little, uh, going to do something really special this year. Uh, you know, in the past, uh, a lot of the vendors are, and restaurants are doing the typical bratwurst and that type of thing during Oktoberfest. This year we're going to do a, a schnitzel dish and then we're going to serve it with a foie gras gravy mm. and an apple slaw. So it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be something really, really unique and different, uh, very, very traditionally based in the Oktoberfest tradition. So I think it's going to be great. It's going to be cool. And uh, you're going to be busy. Beaver Creek is always busy during Oktoberfest, but you have a lot of other things going on. Are you still doing the oyster deal? Oh my God, yeah. We, uh, we have the, probably the best oyster uh, special deal happy hour that you can possibly find anywhere in the valley. We do dollar oysters Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we do two dollar oysters. But you can come in here, like I said, uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, or Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, dollar oysters. Uh, we also have Corbell special and a Coors Light special. So it's a great deal. Uh, we have the most beautiful patios both here in Vail, uh, Beaver Creek, and in Vail. So you can't go wrong as far as location goes and atmosphere. So it's really, really nice to come out here during the happy hour and also as the sun setting. I spend a lot of time up here during the winter months, especially after making some turns, pick the kids up at ski school, come over here. You always have a great special. This is a popular place around three o'clock in the afternoon, but during that's during the winter ski season. Uh, but throughout the summer, I mean, you have golfers, you have families that are here, people that are just arriving. This is a very convenient location to come down and also meet your staff, who is a lot of locals. You get some local insight. Yeah, we have a lot of locals that uh, work, work here, obviously. Um, we also have a great entertainment package. I think that's one of the biggest things is for us uh, during on Wednesday and Thursday, we have Phil Long playing here in Beaver Creek. On Friday and Saturday, Phil goes over to Vale and plays in the Bay Vale Chop House. Great entertainment, a lot of fun. We also have Kathy Morrow playing. Uh, she plays in Vale on Thursday nights and then over here wow. in Beaver Creek on Friday and Saturday. And that's usually between 4 and 7 o'clock during those happy hour times. Legends. Yes, both both iconic in the valley. Yes. I mean, they're just un unbelievable. Um, they bring in a great crowd. It's a lot of fun, people singing along. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, like I said, I don't think you can find better entertainment, better food, better location. The, the, the combination, the package is just amazing for the guests yeah. that come into the valley. I love them both. Uh, Phil still with the hair? Oh, Phil's still got great hair. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, you, know, you talk about it's iconic beautiful, hair. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> uh, I do love your stuff. Uh, you know, I also have to say, I think it's been, what, a year now that we've been doing this. Congratulations on your anniversary. Yeah, I have to give a shout out to uh, Phil, also Dan and Stacy Raymer for uh, the first year of, of business uh, under the new ownership of the new owners. Um, I also need to give a shout out to all the staff, the servers, the kitchen staff, the managers for a phenomenal year. I'm talking about just, we couldn't have had a better start, a better year to start start this new venture. And, and I, I really think it's important that we, we make, make it noticeable for everybody to come out and, you know, when everybody has a chance to come and visit us and, uh, you know, wish them, everybody, a happy anniversary. It's just been, like I said, a, a sensational year. Congratulations on all your successes. You know, on the backstory of this, you and I have known each other for quite a while. I knew when you were... Uh, going into this undertaking, you were a little bit nervous. Good job. Yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I love it. your food. I'm very, I'm very proud of what we've accomplished, but it's all because of the team. It's, I mean, the entire group has uh, committed, uh, the ownership group is committed to giving guests that come into the valley and locals that come into the, that are here uh, the best dining experience they can possibly have, entertainment experience they can possibly have, all in one place in a great, beautiful setting. Yeah, and two locations here in Beaver Creek and also over in Vail. Yeah, right, both at the base of gondolas. Yeah, so, I mean, good. I don't think you can find a better location of, of any restaurant, either in Vail or Beaver Creek. Thanks for having me inside the restaurant today. Reservations recommended, phone number, how would I go about that? Well, there, um, probably a phone number scrolling across the bottom of the screen right now, and uh, you can make reservations by calling us directly, or you can go to Open Table online, and you can make reservations that way. Excellent. Good luck in the next, you know, 100 years up here. Thank you, Ken. And uh, maybe we could dig around the kitchen and make something. I'm getting hungry. Yeah, yeah, I can do that for Everybody you. Everybody asks you to eat. Chef David Sanchez, fresh. once again, we're up here live at the Beaver Creek Chop House. Stop by and see him. Oktoberfest is coming up here in just a few days. We're going to send it back to the studios right now. We've got Mark and Megan, and I believe Megan's got your weather next.